Uh, my name is Rick Jones. I'm the Butler County Sheriff, Butler County, Ohio. Uh, I just came back from the National Sheriff's Training in uh, D.C. Uh, three days ago, two days ago, we were briefed by the FBI director, Ray, the director of the FBI, and several federal agencies. There's 3,300 sheriffs in the United States. The President of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs of uh, the 3300. We have a hierarchy, we have a president, we have a vice president. The President of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs. He also refuses to meet with the police chiefs of the United States. They have a hierarchy also. He refuses to meet with them to talk about border issues or to talk about crime that's going on because of the border issue. Because he doesn't even know who shits his pants. And he's a Muppet. He ain't the one that's doing anything. But let's continue. We were also told by uh, Mr. Ray, the FBI director, that there are more red flags going off now than before 9-11. Okay? No shit. When I say red flags, meaning people that are here in this country that are wanting to do harm to us. 6.8 million fighting age, Middle Eastern and Chinese, to be exact. Not to mention Russian um, and anybody else that wants to come over here. We will also explain we're, in the, we're bombing two countries right now. Two countries. These people do not like us before this started. There's thousands of people here from other countries, 160 different countries. They're here not to be our friends. Some of them are coming because they're wanting to come here to the best country in the world, the way we see it. Some are coming here to do harm to us. And we were told by the FBI director, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Okay, so for three years we've had open borders. Anybody that wanted to, free pass, come in. All you have to do is say asylum seeker. They give you a card. They give you a phone. They're paying people to come here. Now, all of a sudden, to create political theater, after the damage is done, now let's all get excited about it. We've had bus loads shipped all over the country. But all of a sudden, now it's an issue. We were also told five sheriffs went to Israel five weeks after the attack. The only thing that saved the Israelis, the government, was the local police. They were outgunned, outmanned, they came over, the Palestinians. All right, if shit cracks off here, you don't have to worry about the police. They'll be overran. Um, you better have your own shit together, and you better have your own plan, you better have your own group, and you pretty much better plan on nobody being there to help you those are the facts do I appreciate this guy coming out and saying what he's saying yeah I do but he doesn't say anything new that we didn't already know I uh, it blows my mind how people are jumping on board with oh my god this guy he's really uh, saying something well if you pay attention he really isn't all he's doing is coming out and confirming what anybody that is paying attention is seeing and they came over and they killed raped the sheriffs were there and they talked to the police. 
for the local police are what saved that country. You can't just call, even in Israel, you can't just call the military up and they're going to be there. Okay? And they went house to house, raping, killing. The Israeli police, when our guys got there, the sheriffs, said they just don't hate us. They hate you guys equally. And then the same people that train them are the same people that train people that hate us. And the FBI director said when 9 11 hit, there's more red flags now than them. So, and he said, these are people that want to kill us and do harm to us. Now, so you're wondering. That's pretty apparent. I know it sounds like I'm being hard on this guy, and I'm more pissed off that we're in the situation that we're in. Um, there's no reason for it. There should be no negotiation to uphold the laws that are already on the books. It's simple. If you want to come here, you come through the you come through, you do the immigration process, and you become a citizen. If you want to come here illegally and you get caught, your ass goes back. Pretty simple. I mean, when you break it down, it's that simple. There's already laws on the books. You have politicians that come up and they want to do political ground, uh, grandstanding. They want to make it look like, oh boy, I'm fighting for you. Just vote for me again. While in the back rooms are all laughing and high-fiving and all of that shit. While they're selling us out. Only thing I can tell people is, I'll give the link to this. I'm not going to cover the whole thing because... I'm not ready for the rant that would go with that. So I'll throw this link in there. You guys watch it and see what you think. But pay attention. Watch your six. Because crazy times we're living in. All right. Later.